expect um, um, the exercise activities rather to kick start for the inauguration of the 10th National Assembly and how the relationship between the executive and the legislature with foster government's plans. I'm going to leave you with um, a conversation I had with some critical stakeholders at the presidential inauguration ceremony in Abuja. That's our program today. Watch a repeat tomorrow at 6 a.m. Uh, and of course, we'll be back next week with more. I am Nifemi Oguntoye. Some say that perhaps the priority before him is united Nigeria, I mean Nigeria, particularly when look at how Nigerians voted during the election, you know, it now needs to bring everyone together. But I've also heard people say the first political test he has is the leadership of the National Assembly. You have been there. Talk to us about your expectation in this regard. Nobody, Ashwaju himself has said it, that um, he will unify him. And you know the kind of person he is. He's not the kind of person that says, oh, this person is my enemy. He doesn't. He has a forgiving spirit. He doesn't even quarrel with anybody. So I know he will do that because he has the, the character to unify everybody. And, and you can see it's beginning to happen. You know, uh, opposition, APC all coming together under his leadership. So, um, yeah, for the National Assembly, um, well, the <laughs> National Assembly is always a tough one, but I know that uh, the National Assembly, while saying, well, we want, our, we, we want to be independent, we also don't want this, but everything will sort itself out. To be joining your colleagues at the 10th National Assembly, some are saying that the initial political test before Ashiwajo right now is the leadership of the National Assembly. Would you say that is settled now? I don't see any issue whatsoever. As usual, it's a struggle for power, a struggle for control. It's quite natural and it's democratic. I don't see it affecting Ashwaju in any way. In any case, the containers are members of the same party. And I know, as a matter of fact, they are all serious supporters of Ashwaju. So it's not a question of I'm fighting for my people, I'm fighting for myself and stuff like that. I have a feeling that at the end of the day, the day after will be exciting. In 2015, it did not go your party's way and some said it affected uh, President Buhari's performance. That, that, that was a technical issue. Uh, people did not arrive in time. Things started happening and I, I don't think uh, we've gone beyond that. That will not happen this time around. We now have two senators as president <laughs> and vice president. What does that say? Because that's perhaps the first time that is happening. Uh, it's an indication that our democracy is growing. If you recall, in the U.S., most of their presidents usually comes from the Senate. So I think our uh, democracy is becoming matured, and then people are graduating from, le from one level to another. What that does is to bring a better understanding of how to govern and also bringing people with adequate experience in all facets of governance, which is good for our democracy. Absolutely. So you have worked with Ashiwaju both as a political foe and a political as a ally <laughs> and as a commissioner. What's your expectation from him as president of the Federal Republic? Well, I think we are blessed to have a man like Ashwaju as our president-elect and very shortly the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I'm saying this because he has seen it all. He was in the Senate, he was an elected governor, and he has also nurtured and mentored quite a number of people who, are, who have also distinguished themselves in different fields. So I think it's the time to now harness all that. It's like when you plant a seed and at some point there'll be time to reap the, the planting. So I think this is the time that all those assure you, all those people that he has mentored and sustained over the years in different walks of life will now come together to support his administration. And one thing you cannot take away from him is a good hunter when he comes to search for talents.